Hello everybody, thank you for coming in and watch the report. Uh, this is gonna be the quick report and uh, if you guys been aware of, uh, later on we are discussing the energies for today here at this uh, same channel in there. And uh, it's gonna be a very interesting day because today is gonna be one of those support, uh, support from within. And when you get the support, when you heal the certain situations, then it's going to be another situation, then it's going to be a balance. And within the balance, you're going to find out what else you need to make this balance even better than by day. And, excuse me, but those uh, energies uh, today, they're going to be uh, very intense in a way. It's going to be lots of shifts. But uh, keep yourself, keep yourself on track, uh, self-check yourself and uh, let me go with in the energies. So at 7 o'clock, uh, Midkevin is going to be squaring the sun. Uh, this is going to be a one thing that you got to be. Pay attention to the authority within your own self. Because today you're going to learn one of the best lessons that the authority cannot work without intuition and the intuitions cannot work without authority. Basically, this is the man and the wife, that's the mother and the father figure. That is a, what, one of those things in correlations that when they are going of opposite side, of opposite directions, the things doesn't go well. The moon is gonna be supporting Mars and uh, Venus uh, relationships uh, in there. This is gonna be what the rising energies they are gonna be at uh, the morning especially uh, that right now it's focused within cancer, the rising family. Uh, that is it about to go ahead and do it. And uh, that is going to be a focus of learning what the destiny and what it needs to be done. All right. So at eight o'clock, the inner work uh, is going to be done on self. It is about masculine and feminine energies to learn to use their both intuitions coming together but first of all since the moon is in areas that is a personal level if your venus got her intuitions in the same place then the mars has his own intuitions in the same place now they begin to learn to support each other very beautiful energies that is going to be coming in with this uh, at 9 o'clock, the focus that is going to be on the horizon is going to be about the Divine Feminine uh, because right now that's the vision that it comes in. Ascendant is matching Venus rising on the horizons. So uh, this also at the same time Venus is going to begin to have this uh, beautiful uh, sextile with Mercury talking about that learning communications but Mercury sextile with the Moon. So right now all this energy within the intuitions is basically is going to be talking to your friends but if you look at it within a personal level this is going to be the energies when you become your best friend by you learning to talk within your intuitions uh, at 10 o'clock there's going to be a growth within uh, because the Saturn uh, sextile the mid heaven and Jupiter beautiful time you to see what are you missing on within your destiny what are you missing in that portions it's kind of like you're feeling like you're missing the train no you're not missing the train you are looking the things that you need to grow to reach your own destiny within yourself at the 11 o'clock the divine energy is going to be the rising they are going to be coming into the horizon that is going to be from Pluto in Capricorn and Neptune. Let me put it that way that this energy is at 11 o'clock. It's going to bring so much beautiful, beautiful balances in there. You're going to figure it out these transformations that you need to do. But since Pluto now shifted uh, from this Aquarius intense Aquarian energy that move in, you know, go do this, go do that and so on, you're going to be reevaluating and do the things that you need to do on the earthly matters all of a sudden that shift it's kind of like transforming you in there you're going to be working on that uh, revaluation of your own self but also revaluations with others and this is going to be a, a very good energy for some of you um 
at 12 o'clock uh, Midheaven is going to be acting like a mediator of helping the feminine energies basically the Midheaven is going to be supporting both the moon and it's going to be supporting both Venus this is going to be a very beautiful energies uh, there very beautiful communications if you need something to fix within your mother issues this is the best time to look inside of yourself it's very beautiful inner work if you choose to use those energies not the aggravations energies they are coming from venus and they are coming from uh, from mars because they don't have their own destiny reached out the only thing that you're going to be looking at is that at the end of the day when you going to be going in through purging there's going to be this divine authority within yourself that's going to be telling you it's about you so uh talking about later on at one o'clock authority is going to begin to learn that i can't go without intuition you know it is what there is i can't be without you it is what it is at the same time the intuition is going to be you know what i need the authority because i can know things but without the authorizations I don't have the proof so it is about uh, to understand and learning the lessons they are coming with you why is doing it this are you gonna control this or when the things goes wrong what do you do very beautiful time for the both energies in that sense the authority is the masculine and the moon it is more feminine energies you to understand that within yourself they have to learn to cooperate first with you and then with your partner. Um, there's going to be also a very beautiful uh, balance that's going to be coming in the horizon. Uh, in there at 2 o'clock, you're already experiencing that, probably experiencing yesterday in the past few days. That is this balance that Venus, uh, that uh, Libra ascendant, that it comes in within the horizon. And all that, it's connecting with what? family love learning destiny growth comes to you as a visions they are going to be coming in the visions that you actually what you have to work and perform because later on this energy the same energy is going to be coming in and you're going to be working out for that hopefully you are doing that work and you i wish you good luck on all of you does that so at 3 p.m., uh, this is going to be at the disturbing of the force, disturbing of the peace. You know, extremes, too much balance, too much love, too much this, and then all of a sudden you go to the other extreme. Why? Because you need to understand to the balance you are going to evolve. Because if you have the same thing at the same time and everything is just steady, do you evolve? Do you learn new things? Do you getting a new things in your life? And that is going to be this disturbing of the peace. But that is going to show up what you need to focus when. And a mid heaven is going to tell you, hey, look within the the family, what I need to change here in the family. So at 4 p.m. the focus is that's going to be a Venus uh, clean more and more and more, but getting more and more love and a communications for transformations so the energy of venus is going to go to mercury and from mercury goes into pluto to transform everything is done from communications um at uh, 5 p.m the rising energies so uh, that's going to be within the shadow and uh, the moon is going to be trining the mid heaven in leo this is going to put more fire energies into the masculine there is like you know what here gets discouraged go ahead don't discourage yourself don't self-doubt yourself you have everything inside of you why are you doing it this so this is going to be a kind of like a push like hey i know you are disbalanced i know we have disturbing of the peace but you know what you need that you need that so you can see how is your courage inside of you as a masculine energy um at six o'clock there's going to be a divine tour to remind you the cooperations between the moon and the sun authority intuition it's going to be like you know why are we doing this to yourselves but why are you doing this to your own self not only when you are in relationships you can be in any kind of type of relationships you can have uh, 
work related relationships you can have a situationship you can have a soul relationships confirmations in there or you can have whatever your ship is the question is is you to understand that those two are correlated from within yourself so here is a coming in the eight o'clock energies that eight o'clock energy is actually is going to be that energy at two o'clock talking about this incredible incredible balance that it's for love learning destiny growth and now these visions you have to act upon it because if you understand things but you don't act things what's the point of getting this balance just as an energy waste so look at yourself you have to go ahead and work within you to see the things inside so at nine o'clock uh, the feminine energies they're going to be triggered uh, a lot it is about the material situations it's going to be a lot of intensity out there but if you understand that the material things doesn't matter all it does matter is actually the love within the peace in your soul you're going to understand that is need of internal balance that you are missing right now and at uh, 10 o'clock uh, the lack of this balance is going to be actually transferred to the masculine energies from within you you're going to find out what are you missing because the feminine what are you missing is a masculine is in a beautiful way maybe harsh but in a beautiful way to tell you hey you're missing this masculine energies you're missing this feminine energies go see why you're missing this go see how you can develop this and you're going to be digging it with what why who the only the answer is going to find out is you you are the one who has to work this within your own self and at 11 o'clock the divine authority they're going to help you actually to do this work i'm going to do the more uh detailed uh, talking about these energies later on today i wish you a great day and uh, may the peace and the balance be with you so is the love be loved guys love you